Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. And the first thing that we're going to be doing in this episode is watching the TV program for our home shopping network. QVC HP I don't really know the other ones, but yes, Mr. Tanaka. What do you have us today? We have the Inaba Trout Combo, and I highly recommend if you don't feel like fishing in this game to pick this setup because we're going to be needing it for a hermit social link event coming up eh, maybe next month depends on when I want to do it actually and yes Tanaka thank you as always now that that's been taken care of we're actually going to a social link event with one of our school friends and why did I get clipped on that one I did not even want to go over there that's why I get for not looking at the screen but yes we're gonna head back into town and actually track down Rise, which sounds a little odd because we've already kind of found her in the TV world. And now she's perfectly fine, but yes. We're going to return and hopefully get another rank up with her. And I still need to balance out like the death social link and the Rise social link. Like I said, I'm like one like social link event ahead with Rise than I should be. And I'm one behind on the death arcana. So those are like two are kind of balanced okay. for Sunday events and hey, let's hang out with the Rise. Hopefully we have fun and not a horrible time like we always seem to have. Yeah, has anyone else noticed that with Rise Social Link? It's like we have fun and then something bad kinda happens and <laughs> I place lots of special orders at Okina, I assume, and come with me next time when I pick him up, Senpai. I had tons of fun today. Not many people try to come up and talk. Oh, well that's good. That uh, that's changing. Maybe they've already forgotten who I am. Oh yeah, want some tofu to take home? Sure, I guess. Never really tried it and I helped make them today. Wait right here. Uh, okay. Hmm, and excuse me, Yusan, is it? Oh god. I hit the nail right on the head, it seems. Inoue has returned and sorry about the other day. I'm Minori Inoueo, Rise Kuchikawa's former manager. I'm sorry to bother you, but could you give this to her? Um... Okay, he gave us a letter. It's a fan letter. Oh, I see. Uh, why don't you just give it to her yourself? I mean, that seems like the reasonable thing to do in a way. In a way? In a... Whatever. <laughs> and I don't think she'd take it from me. And Rise always did look forward to the girl's letter. Oh, this is from someone who sent them a lot? In today's cults of personality, being popular carries its own problems. Your schedule fits together minute by minute, just like a jigsaw puzzle. Every day you squeeze utterly dry. Um, okay, why are you telling me this? Uh, but even knowing that, I still want her to come. Well, tell her this, dude! I don't give a crap! Okay. <laughs> she was genuinely brilliant. Not only that, but she was strong enough to use her pain as a foundation. Yeah, sounds like Rise, actually. From what I could see, she's relying on you. So could you? Um. Well, it is from a fan, and sorry, Senpai, we're also. Inuyo <gasps> san! Quit betraying me! Oh, okay, and. Wait. What'd you say to Senpai? Eh! Uh, I'll be going now. Goodbye. <laughs> I can imagine he's just like crying as he runs away. It's like. Eh! <laughs> Hounding me even after I quit. He's practically a stalker. <sighs> to think I trusted him. I feel betrayed. Well, uh, yeah, he, he's kind of worried about you. Not really stalker status, I would no. say. And no, he just wants reset back. Well, yeah, he definitely has ulterior motives. I'll give you that. And he created that me. Oh, I see. And. So, what did he come for? Oh, uh, well, he just wanted me to give you this letter, and he was physically, Im he just physically could not give it to you by himself. I don't, uh, could just explain the scenario, and she wrote again. I see, but he came all the way out here for this? Could he just sent it and be over there? There's a million other ways he could have gave Rise that letter. The school is a middle school student. She writes to me all the time. I did this public service campaign once to stop out bullying. She said it inspired her. She wrote that she didn't let bullies get her down. That she tried to make friends. Oh, that's nice. You did a good thing, Rise, and 
Ever since then, she wrote me letters. This happened to me today. I was able to say this. Stuff like that. Seeing Reset work hard encourages me. Makes me feel like I can still hang in there. <laughs> she doesn't really know how it works, huh? Eh, well... Sure, you're an artificial personality, but you helped someone out, right? But still, every time I read your letters, I feel like Reset actually meant something. So whenever things got tough, I would read them over and over. Oh, well, that's great. Isn't it? Senpai, do you still have some free time? Uh, sure thing, Risa. What do you want to talk about? I assume it has nothing to do with the letter you just received and how it impacts your life. <laughs> okay, it totally doesn't. But on over to Yukiko's shrine. Sort of. It's not technically your shrine, but you all know what I'm my <laughs> And she's worried about me. Officially, I'm taking a break due to illness, so... Oh, yeah. Guess your fans are concerned. Before I quit, there was talk about a part in a movie. Yeah, I heard about that. She sounds like she was really looking forward to it. Please get well soon and come back, she says. Aww. You have such nice fans, Rise, and I'm so glad you were here. I was scared to read it alone. I gave up being a reset. I can't meet her expectations. I mean... Uh, are, are you thinking about going back to show business, Rise? That's what it's starting to sound like. I have no regrets. At least... I don't think so. Oh. I mean... It was such a relief to quit. To go back to being the real me. Yeah, I know how important that is to you. <laughs> Um, something funny? Oh, she has a lonely smile. I guess she's a little confused at the moment, and... Anyway, Reset doesn't exist anymore. It's not just this girl. I disappointed lots of other people. The president of the company told me that over and over, and I already knew. I knew this was the path I chose, but... Hmm... Maybe I'll just inherit the tofu shop. Um, all right. I'm the shop's main attraction now. I bet I can make it thrive. <laughs> um, not sure about, I mean, maybe in Senpai. Maybe we should really just do it. You know what I was saying? What? You could marry me once we graduate high school and the two of us could work the tofu shop together. That does not sound pleasant. Actually, it kind of does. Doesn't that sound fun? <laughs> How about it? <laughs> um... If you're serious, or you say, uh... I guess I'll have to get a job license. Maybe Yukiko could help me out, and... If I'm serious... I think I'm pretty serious. You're always so calm. <laughs> but I like that. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if, uh... Immediately after exiting high school, opening up a... Uh, Business would be the best practice, but hey, Rise, I'm glad I could be here for you. I feel a little bit better now. Well, that's great, and yeah, I'm fine. I can contribute something. It looks like there are plenty of things only I can do. Yeah! Way to go, Rise! You learned that other people. Actually, we didn't really learn anything. She's just kind of conflicted right now. It's like she let a whole bunch of people down because she was, you know, doing her idol thing. She had a lot of good fans, you know, and she's kind of upset about that, but she's also happy that she gets to be her own self. Risa is kind of, I don't want to say a deep character, but, you know, she's kind of complex like that, I guess I should say. And Yeah, we got a new ability. It's pretty cool, and sorry for dragging you around all day. I'll let you go now. Uh, um, uh, I'll see you later, senpai. Makes it sound like you're keeping me hostage <laughs> like that. It's like, you go now, you're free. And it's like, uh, alrighty then. You're back. Anyways, hello, Dojima. We're going to do a spend time event with you today. If I have planned everything accordingly, I really hope hey. uh, that is not the case. But chances are that's going to happen. Sometimes some spend time events just are unavoidable. Nothing you can really do. And yes, based on the loading screen. I should do it, but next time we talk to Dojima, we should advance the social link rank a little bit more.
Don't know if I've said it before, but Dojima's kind of my favorite social link, and I hope you all enjoy the school trip. Don't you all feel just a little bit more mature now that you've visited an urban area? Oh, by the way, the cute bear that Yukun had on the trip, it was really adorable. I get so tempted by animals with such unique design. What? <laughs> Speaking of bears, their friends, the pandas, are also really cute. Do you know what they used to be called in Japanese? They were called black and white bears. Divided color bears, a perfect description of how they look. Cool. They're mixed colors. So exotic. You need to do some exotic things to become adults. Anyway, okay, what did this have to do with anything? Man, this information is really going to help me in the workforce when I open my tofu shop rise. Yeah, not really, I'm joking, but yes, now that that has been taken care of, we actually need to go into town. Don't know why I was walking towards the door uh, when we can just, you know, warp directly there. Hands down, one of the best features in Persona. Heck, I didn't even know about the guy in Persona 3 that would, like, teleport you into town until my, like, second playthrough. And that's saying a lot about that game. So imagine, you know, manually exiting the school every single time. Be kind of a pain in the butt. Anyways, we're actually going to go to the daycare center again. Hopefully to advance Eerie's social link and stop it! Don't hit Misaki-chan! Yeah! Whoa, dude, chill out. And that's not Misaki, that's Phoenix Venture Rangers are his enemy in disguise! Um, then I quit playing Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Whoa, you just standing up for the ladies. Dang, what a man. <laughs> Even though he's like four or whatever. <laughs> and yes, more understanding. We should get that camp down soon, which will be awesome. I cannot wait to get all five stats completed. That's going to be great. And Oh, no, I do. Uh, I remember this one. It's such. It's not really cringy, but it's just like. Uh, kind of makes me mad. And oh, Minami san, you're with Yutakun. Hello there, unfamiliar woman. Nice to meet you. I'm, I'm gonna go play with River! <laughs> Alright, cool. And Nakamura Sensei. Oh, this is a Sensei? I apologize for the trouble Yuta kun caused at school. Oh, she seems to be Yuta's teacher. Cool! Yuta kun really is rambunctious. You can tell how he was. That's an awfully rude thing to say. Maybe not, maybe it's just me, and who is this? He seems a bit young to be your husband. It's like, <laughs> I'd, lo I'd love to actually pick this one, but... But just to keep things civil, I think we should go with this option, you know, we don't want to cause a disturbance, and oh, I see. So how do you each meet each other? You aren't! Um... Huh? No, he's a caretaker at the daycare center, where Yutakun stays. Oh. Even so, he is quite young. I guess people from the city are different from us country people. Yet again, why does that matter? I don't know. I guess it can't be helped that Yutakun has turned out this way. Um... What are you getting at? It's so burdensome to make extra lesson copies for him. Um... Sorry? I have to use my private time for that, you know. Well, I suppose it's all part of my job. Then why are you complaining about it in the first Sorry. place? Don't apologize, Eerie. If it was just his grades, that would be one thing. But then there's his slight violent streak, too. It's easy to laugh off now, but eventually it'll turn into bullying. I don't know about that. I'm pretty sure he just likes playing Power Rangers anyways. Which leads to delinquency, which in turn leads one day into crime. Well, I must be on my way. I'm sorry to bother you. Yeah, yeah, th thanks, Miss Nakamura. It's nice meeting you, not really. And all of the other mothers of children in Yuta's class respect Miss Nakamura as a good teacher. Well, she's not all that great in my opinion, and they all gossip about me because I'm a second wife and an outsider. And you know how Yuta is, right? Yeah, but I mean, he's, just, he's in the first grade. Like, come on, be a little too critical. So it's impossible for me to make any friends. If only, if only he was a more studious child. Um, I mean, it's really not his fault. I mean, he's in the first grade. Like, 
come on. I, I, that's just what I keep coming to. It's like, you're really criticizing this kid who's been alive for like four... Sure, a lot of it is being raised, but I mean, come on. I'm not gonna be in prison and... I'm fed up and just sick of it all. Why does this always happen to me? I, I didn't mean it like that. You're... Oh, gosh, she's crying. Uh, this is awkward. Um... Oh, boy, mom! Oh, God. Wow. Narukami just got owned. I thought I had high counter on something. Okay, okay. Uh, are you alright? Uh, yeah, I mean... It kind of hurt. Kid has a pretty strong right arm and... Just said something in my eye, Yuta. He wasn't bullying me. Oh, um... Thank awkward you. and... I'm sorry. But thank you. <laughs> Why are you laughing about this? I just got the crap beat out of me by a first grader. What's the what? Okay. So <laughs> and so, uh, looks like Aerie's not really, you know, crying anymore. Because I guess Yuta defended her. Rather courageous, I must say. Admirable, in fact, by Yuta. I don't think he's necessarily violent. He just has a thing for protecting women, which, you know, maybe he got from his mom and... Maybe not. I don't really know. But we'll see Aria again and Yuta next time we drop by the daycare and let's go home. Yay! They went home together today. Great. And yeah, we're completely unfazed by a couple punches. <laughs> oh man. Yuta's a handful. That's for sure. And welcome to Nightline's special Nightwatch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death, but when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time, but this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato-kun tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, the Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases, Sixteen of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Hi, Senpai! Yo! Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Naoto-kun was on! That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer! But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? So it's true that he helped solve the case. I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. 
That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Then allow me to state my point. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is in fact a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naoto-kun? Naoto's acting a little bit on the weird side, and I think that's a bit of an understatement. And whoa, he didn't even come to school today. That is very unlike a Japanese high school student. That's for sure. Anyways, we're actually going to do a Strength Arcana social link today instead of talking directly to Naoto about what is going on. I mean, I don't know, that's just how Persona is. We kind of have to wait for things to happen, and today, if everything goes according to plan, we should get rank 9 with my boy Dice Game Co. Yeah, I don't know, I said boys instead of boys, but, you know, and... Hey, see that girl over there? Um, and the white stockings, yeah. That's her... my ex-girlfriend. Oh. Cool. She shows up every so often to watch us practice. I wonder if she's as stuck in the past as I am. Um, maybe. I ain't try talking to her. Then, we definitely need to talk. Not just for me, but for her too. Yeah, that's a good idea, man. I mean, can't hurt, right? Thinking back on it, <sighs> should have just told her everything that was on my mind. Yeah, I probably could have helped a tiny bit. Even if the truth hurt, at least you would have understood each other. Hmm. Well, I'll talk to her after practice. Well, I'll talk to her after practice. Okay, sweet. Daisuke is taking a big step forward and talking to his ex-girlfriend, which is you know, I know, I know it's middle school and all, but hey, it's a big deal to him. And well, I hope it works out for him. And hey, we got rank nine, so I'll take it, man. Oh, we're so cool. We're so cool. It's gonna be awesome. Once we get rank ten. Heck, all the physical attacking social links in this game are great. Chariot, strength, and one more we have not seen yet. And oh, they're talking. Cool. Hope it's going well. And I really did like you back then. I just wanted you to know. 
Oh. Um. What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Uh, doesn't sound like it's going well. Uh. Hey, have you been coming into practice because of you? Um, what? Oh, he's here. Get out of the way, or he might get the wrong idea. Oh, poor Dice Game, man. Oh my gosh. That's awkward, and Senpai, you're late. Uh, sorry about that. Tearing down the goals took a little longer than usual today. Oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. So you'll take me somewhere nice for dinner then, right? <laughs> Sure, sure. Oh, they're already dating and... Daisuke, what's up, man? I'll see you at practice later. You know, not today, because practice is over and... Daisuke, thank you. Oh, well, seems like it went kind of well. Even though it was a little bit on the awkward side and... <sighs> you know, I feel pretty good. Great! Alright, I thought it kind of looked a little weird that you're not weird, but something was kind of bad going on. Mostly because, well, she said, what well, has gotten into you. It didn't look good, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, and it's gonna rain tomorrow. I gotta do the launch. Oh, okay, Nanako. Good! Anyways, today, I hope. Hey. Everything will go according to plan with Dojima, and we can get his social link maxed out as soon as possible. Just be warned, we're probably going to need to do that relatively soon, and I still have some things to do, so I can't spend too much time. Oh, oh okay. Well, anytime's good, man. I mean, it doesn't have to be today, I guess. I mean, you are, you know, a detective and all. I don't know. It's looking at data about cars. Sorry to bother you. My hands are full here. Uh, uh, that's no problem, and... Want some coffee, man? I'll make you some. I look pretty busy, and... <laughs> that's my job. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. Huh? <laughs> Seems really defensive about his one chore. He likes it a lot, apparently, and... Oh, yeah. I was thinking about this when talking with Nanako just now, but... I feel like she's changed a bit lately. Oh, um, really? I don't know how to put it. She's stronger. I feel like I'm being left behind. Oh. S sorry? Uh, ever since you came, this house has become, well, homey. A house just isn't a big box. It's a place for a family to live together. Laughing, crying, fighting, spending most of your lives together. A warm place. Hmm. I forgot what that was like. I wanted to get that back more than anything. And yet, I feel like I've been dodging it the whole time. Do you understand why? Well... I have a pretty good idea. It's because, well, you're afraid, right? Please. Oh my gosh. Well, that's unfortunate, but that's what we're supposed to say, but I'll just go with this option. What a mood killer, man. Mm -hmm. And Yeah, that's right. I never thought of her feelings. Hmm. I see. We've been in the same place, but we're not connected. You brought the two of us together. Huh. R really me? The rest... is my problem. Where do I draw the line with this? You know, I don't know, that's kind of a difficult question for me to answer, Dojima. I think, well... I think you'll find the answer you're looking for. Eventually. I mean, you've already seemed like you're developing a lot, you know? You're realizing your own weaknesses and... Stuff like that, and... Ah, screw this. I'm drinking tonight. <laughs> um, you, you're drinking with me. Alcohol free, of course. <laughs> um, alright. You pass out before me and you're under arrest, got it? 
Uh, alright. Dojima definitely knows how to lighten the mood. <laughs> oh my god. And all right, things things are looking a little bit more up for Dojima, you know, our uncle. I'm happy about that personally, and great, more gossip, exactly what this school needs. Hey, did you see the show on TV? The one about the Detective Prince's secret identity? Now Tokun is so cool. Yeah, he really does have it going on, doesn't he? He's really young to be a detective, too. He's cute, but he has this aura of mystery about him. <laughs> That's pretty cool, too. Oh, man, these, uh, these gals got the hots for Naoto. Seems like everyone does nowadays. <laughs> I'm not going to pour it con Anyway, <laughs> today we're actually going to turn in our request that we completed previously to the Hermit Persona Social Link. Thing. We're not gonna we're not turn the the request into a persona hermit. No, we're gonna go to the fox and say, "Hey, dude, I completed your request." And I think that's gonna pretty much do it for the most part for this episode. I don't really think we can squeeze all too much into the next part. That probably won't work. Yeah, because we're already getting up there in the time. You know, I don't think people realize this, but I kind of wanted to make this whole series like sort of the same time slot is like an anime because I don't know I feel, I feel like this game sort of is an anime if you really think about it like as far as pacing and all that crap goes it's kind of like that and yeah the fox is happy that we did the thing I don't remember what the dumb thing was we did but we did it yeah and the fox will be happy about that and give us an even greater discount on the healing leaves which is great because now we can grind even more and it will not eat up our pocket change. <laughs> Anyways, in this episode, we did oh, a, lot, a lot of social links to think about. We're doing the one Risei, Dojima, you know, Eerie. And we even got our trout. Cool. I'm happy about that. And yeah, it's raining tonight, though. Hmm. Maybe we should check the Midnight Channel in the next episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Thank you all so much for watching. In the next part, we go up to our room and hope that there's no one on the TV. So see you guys then. Bye.